and we can see that our object is rotating. What is up you guys? Today I'm going to be showing you how to set a rotation to an object. So this would be really good for power-ups, pickups, any types of thing that you would need to uh, put place in your game. A really good example too would be coins, kind of sitting there and rotating in a specific spot. So this is how you do that. So what we're going to do is we're going to want to drag in the object that we are going to rotate. For this example, I'm just going to be using a cube. And the best way to kind of keep track of everything is to rename this uh, to rotate or whatever you think will be really easy to remember. Also, make sure that you have the mobility set to mobile. Otherwise, the object is actually not going to rotate even if the code is set up properly. Now that is done, go to your blueprints and open up a level blueprint. A little trick here, actually, believe it or not, is uh, if I can actually shrink this down, I'm trying to do this one handed, <laughs> um, is if you click the object and you drag it in, it automatically makes a reference for it. And so you do not need to actually search and spend time trying to find it. So now, once that is done, drag out and do add actor local rotation. So this is actually the beginning process to help rotate our actor. Now put an event tick and just simply connect these two. So now what's happening is and on the uh, the tick that is taking place is beginning the rotation process. So now what we're going to do is get a make rotator as you can see here. And this is our axis for which our object will be rotating. So once that's done, you want to click and drag out from the return value and set that as a scale rotator. So now we're starting to get into the math aspect of things. And then just connect your delta seconds to this little green spot right here. And then from this to your delta location. Now what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to make a new variable and we're going to name this speed. So this is the speed of which the rotation will be taking place. Now make sure that this is indeed a float. Make sure you compile it so you can actually set the speed and let's just put this to 20 for this specific example. Once that's done, you can see that the variable is created and drag in and get it. So what we're doing is we're getting that speed and we are applying it to our rotation. So for example, if we make the speed 20 and set it to the rotation roll axis and we compile this, we can go back into our game and we can see that our object is rotating. If we go back in there and let's say we uh, break this link and we turn it to the pitch axis, we can now see that this is going and rotating in the opposite direction. Same thing if we wanted to change the speed on this to let's say 50. You can see that the rotation is now speeding up even faster. And if we increase it once again to, let's go a little crazy here and do 300. We can really see how it's changing the rotation speed so depending on your specifics that you need for your game so if it's just a coin that's like slowly rotating or a power-up that's going a little bit faster uh, it's going to be user discretion when it comes to what rotation access and what speed because you know what's best for your game but this is the basic premise to add that rotation to your game without further ado good luck